Now, we are on episode 5 of this very fast go-kart build. And before we get started with all this, let's just do a recap for episode 4 for all the people that are new to the channel. If you guys are new, it's easier just to go back and watch all my other videos. But and we left off episode 4 with making a motor mount to mount the motor to the go-kart frame. Now, I know I did say this is a permanent magnet motor and I wanted to use this aluminum plate, but things changed. The thing that changed was I got the front sprocket in the mail and it's a 27 tooth, which is huge. I didn't know what kind of torque it would produce or anything like that. So I just figured it'd be easier for me to make a steel bracket to hold the motor that will mount right to the frame. Now I did say I was gonna record me making the motor mount, so here's the video of that. To start off this motor mount plate, we have to drill a hole through this metal plate, which I did by using a drill bit and drilling a million holes. So we're gonna drill for a little while because this took a long time. Then I got the torch, connected all of the holes that I just drilled. Then you take a hammer and bam, you got a hole. Check that out. Now, a grinder. These are magical tools. They pretty much grind metal. You can make anything look amazing like this. Look at this, it's like a perfect circle. I just made a perfect circle. You guys just watched it. Now, we're gonna take the motor. It's gonna go inside that circle, so you see that? So we're gonna line it up and check it out. Bam, fits. Perfect. Now I'm gonna cut it out just like that to make the face plate. Now we're gonna do a little time lapse, a little chop, 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 chop. There we go. And do a little more chopping, a little side cut. This is gonna be where the motor mounts up to. And right after this, I'm gonna cut the base. Not yet. We're gonna weld it. Cause you know the metal fluxes when you weld, so I figured why not do it while it's reinforced. So now we're gonna cut it out. Bam! We got the motor mount. Look at that. Check it out. Perfect. All right, so now that you saw how the motor mount was made, our next step is gonna be, uh, let me just go from one hand vision to two hand vision. All right, so our next step is gonna be, where are we gonna put this battery? And where are we gonna put this speed control? I'm gonna keep this one really simple. We're just gonna make a plate that goes underneath everything and some supports to hold the battery in place and I'm gonna put screws from the bottom you'll see how I do this I'm gonna make everything mount like this oh we're also gonna we're also gonna have to add the throttle which I'll make the tab and add it right there we're gonna put a link from the top of the throttle to the pedal pretty similar to how they did the brake over here and that's gonna give us our throttle motion. So let's just jump to that. This is the stuff we're gonna need. Cardboard. Some kind of Sharpie marker. Scissors. And basically what we're gonna do is use the cardboard to make a template. So. We're gonna rough cut something. Rough, rough sketch. Cut it with some scissors. Then give it another test fit. All right, so I hope you guys kind of got an idea now of what I'm doing here. Let's get up close. The cardboard is gonna be the mounting place for the battery and the all track speed control. So I'm trying to keep it super simple, super easy. I left this little tab over here cause we're gonna bend that up with the vise, put some screws on it, and that's gonna be where the throttle is gonna mount with the linkage going to the foot pedal. So now that we got the template and everything seems to fit pretty well, let's take everything back and trace the template on this piece of metal with the Sharpie. Now understand this is a very rough cutout of it, and 
after I cut it, I'm gonna have to do some grinding and fine tuning to make it fit perfect, but let's go out in the garage and cut the stuff. So as we cut this with the grinder, just like to remind you guys, I do this on the weekends. I try to get a video to you guys every week. Next week's gonna be episode six. Let's get back to the build. All right, so now. All right, so let's go for another test fit. Perfect. That's where the speed control is going to go. Just like so. That's going to get bolted to here. I'm going to make some mounting brackets to go to the aluminum plate. Got to cut some corners. Here's the motor. This is what the motor looks like. So now we got the motor mounted pretty much. We got a spot for the electric speed control. We got a spot for the battery. We even have a spot to mount the throttle. So that's gonna go just like so with the linkage to the foot pedal. I started to bend the tabs to hold the battery in place. You can see there's gonna be little tabs like that. I'm gonna fold this one up. I'm gonna fold that one up. And I'm basically gonna put a strap just to hold the battery down. That's gonna take care of our battery. For the speed control, like I said earlier, I'm gonna drill holes and just put nut and bolt. That'll hold the speed control down. And for the motor, underneath here, you see how they're slotted? When I put bolts on there, I could then adjust the motor back and forth to adjust my chain tension. But before we get to all that, I'm going to have to take this chain guard off. I also got to take the seat brace off because the chain does hit the seat brace when we put our 27 tooth sprocket up in the front. So still got a little bit of stuff to do. It's honestly super late. I'm super tired. I'm going to call it a wrap for this weekend. By the looks of it, I think next weekend, we will have this thing running and driving. Oh yeah, one last thing on top of everything. This is the main contactor. Sorry about all the wires. That's gonna mount right there with two bolts. And I'm just gonna run the wires super neat. But guys, I'm happy with how much we got done this weekend. Once again, this is another big step because everything is mounted now. That means I just gotta play with wires, which I already know how to run everything. And it looks like by next week's video, this thing is gonna be up and running and driving. So we're gonna call it a wrap for this week's video. I'm gonna go to bed and thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and stick around for next week because we're gonna get this thing on the road and we're gonna do some speed tests and some comparison video of this thing in an electric mode compared to its old gas version. So guys, see you next week.